Hundreds of old warriors gathered to celebrate nine decades of the Royal British Legion's work, providing practical help and support to those who've suffered in the service of their country. The Legion was formed in 1921 in the aftermath of the First World War, an organization dedicated to the welfare of former members of the armed forces and their families. Fittingly, on this anniversary, there was time to remember old friends and comrades. But the Legion believes its role is as relevant today as it ever was. These wonderful veterans are what we normally associate with the Royal British Legion, but as this organization celebrates its 90th birthday, it finds itself increasingly needing to care for younger servicemen and women and their families whose lives have been changed by the conflicts of the 21st century. Emphasizing that point was a young war widow, Kiri Ann Curley, who carried the Book of Remembrance at today's service. Her husband, Royal Marine Corporal Stephen Curley, was killed by a booby trap bomb in Afghanistan last May. She told me what the Legion did and continues to do to support her. The Royal British Legion are part of my journey and I know that they will always be there for myself. My son is 20 months old and I know that they will always be there for my child in, in, as he grows older. And I am the face of the new generation of War Widow and there are a lot more out there and there are a lot more to come. And even in these hard times, this is a cause the British public has taken to heart. Last year's poppy appeal raised nearly £35 million and we're hoping to break that record this year and with the help of the British public I think we will. A £50 million target to build rehabilitation centres for wounded servicemen and women is the challenge the Legion takes into its tenth decade. Paul Davis, ITV News, Westminster Abbey.